So now in this video, we're going to make a low supply voltage indicator circuit. Actually, it's going to be an OK or a low. I uh, just kind of reduced the amount of writing that I did. Now, the uh, voltage, we actually set that, and we'll talk about how I did that. But really, I set the uh, voltage of interest when it comes to the power supply to about 10.2 volts. So for whatever reason, I consider it OK. I'm going to use a green LED to indicate OK when the voltage is above about 10.2 volts. So it's going to be approximate, but it's going to be really close. We'll look at that later. When the voltage falls short of uh, about 10.2 volts, the red LED will light up. And uh, that'll tell me the voltage is too low. We're going to monitor that. So how we get this voltage? First off, we have a 5.1 volt Zener diode. I just felt like getting close to 5 volts to make things easy and uh, because twice that is 10 I'll just say that right now so we're setting the non-inverting input here to 5.1 volts because we have a 10 kilo ohm resistor that's jumping that wire right there they're not connected it's jumping over it and uh, currents flowing through the 10k resistor and the Zener diode and since the Zener diode is reverse bias cathode to the uh, non-inverting input in the resistor, more positive, anode more negative, it's going to build up 5.1 volts as long as current's flowing through it. So that will vary a little bit based on how much current is flowing. But it's going to be really close to 5.1 volts as long as we keep the power supply about 6 volts or higher. So we have that voltage set there. Our varying voltage is actually going to be at the inverting input. And so these are fixed value resistors, but we're going to change the supply voltage. So this voltage is going to change greatly. That one's going to hold pretty steady. And uh, even though we doubled the voltage, it's going to hold 5.1 volts pretty well. So we looked at that in the last video. But in any case, the voltage we're going to vary is going to the inverting input. That's why it's going to be an inverting comparator. So when the voltage at the inverting input is lower, such as at 6 volts, we'll have 3 volts. That's lower than a 5.1 volt then the output is going to be high the red LED is going to light up so lower input uh, lower uh, inverting input than non inverting input lower high and then when it's higher so above or let's just say 13 volts it's going to be about 7.5 volts that's higher than 5 since it's the inverting that means when this one's higher we'll have a low output and actually current will flow that way if you think positive or negative the green LED will light up. So now this is the LM358 we use that a lot uh, recently it works good with a single supply so we got the VCC up there to the positive supply and the ground pin pin 4 there to the negative supply and so there's two op amps one on this side output inverting input or the negative dash and the uh, non inverting input the plus dash so it's the same pin layout with this one over here except for it's up because uh, we got uh, the power on the opposite uh, that one's on the top that one's on the bottom so we go to the very top for the output inverting input non inverting input and so let's uh, first look at the load quick this is the long lead the anode of the LED make sure you wire it in the right direction or it won't light up short lead the uh, cathode comes to a 1 kilo ohm resistor going to the top pin right there and uh, so over here again we have the uh, resistor and so this one's going to light up when the output's low power will go through there when the output is high you can see that the other side of the LED is to the uh, negative supply right there so when it's high it's going to go to the long lead which is up there to the one kilo ohm resistor short lead the cathode to the jumper that goes to ground the uh, negative rail and uh, there we go so we have our Zener diode here I just went, instead of uh, uh, crowding this area even more, we got a 10 kilo ohm resistor right there to where that jumper goes with a positive supply. And it's going to the cathode. There's a black stripe up there. It's a 5.1 volt Zener dial. They're really hard to read, even with a loop. So we won't see that. But in any case, that's going to the negative supply again. I just put it to where a jumper connects to power it and also run the Zener. Here we have two 10 kilo ohm resistors as a uh, voltage divider 
to that middle pin if you don't consider the one down there the uh, inverting input so we uh, looked at all that in detail on the schematic and uh, we'll just zoom back hopefully that all look good but uh, otherwise it was on the schematic so there we have six volts that is uh, higher than five but remember we have this voltage divider going to the input so we cut that in half since they're equal value so three volts is going there and uh, we looked at that in detail in the uh, last video so I'm just going to kind of speed through this one seven eight nine and ten so we still expect that red LED to be out we get to uh, eleven the green LED lights up so again we can go to twelve thirteen and uh, that's where I want to end this because we have a one kilo ohm resistor protecting the LEDs and uh, so it's going to get pretty warm if we raise the voltage anymore now we'll go back to 11 and we'll narrow this down a little bit more and uh, just in case you couldn't see that for some reason what I can do I can go over here and we can get to uh, tenths of a volt so again it was about 10.2 that we set it you know twice as high as a 5.1 so there you can see 10.2 is uh, slightly lower than the uh, cutoff we'll go up a little bit remember the numbers are approximate and a little bit more there we go now we got the red and this power supply it's just uh, when you bump it it messes up its output a little bit In any case there we go we got uh, 10.22 it'll be green 10.21 volts it goes red right there so if that's a really important voltage for us for whatever reason and uh, we're fine with just a color LED telling us that uh, the supply voltage fell that far usually it would be a battery you know you're draining a battery its voltage goes down if you want to uh, stop at 10.2 volts for whatever reason this uh, circuit right here will uh, let you know that it's off just because the supply voltage is off so in any case I'm gonna end it there Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting to this screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. Uh, but just watching as many videos as you can helps out a ton too. So thanks to everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.